right, guys, we're here at VT1 in Sydney, Gracie Humaita. We're showing you guys some modified Jiu Jitsu. Today, we've got a killer arm lock escape for you. Killer? I know it's killer because I've been trying it out on all my big strong brown belts. Works. Shouldn't be getting there, but when you are there, you need to have a good escape, so let's do it. Okay, so I've got down here. As Mario says, I woke up one time, this brown belt was sitting at Mount, and he had me in an arm bar. That's how we got here. My excuse. Okay, so. If he's any good, a lot of the defense where you're grabbing your jacket and your hands, he'll have a counter for. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand and we're going to put it on the inside of our leg. Okay? Now, while it's here, it looks like Dan can arm bar me, but go nuts, Dan. Go, go really strong. Go hard as you can. It's very difficult. Now, I can't sit here for too long because he'll start playing with my hands. But this is just to buy us enough time for me to open his feet. Boom. Now I'm going to be opening up this way and I'm going to start going to work. The only problem with this position is you have to watch the bow and arrow choke. So if he starts going around the back of my neck here, boom, I have to make sure I make space between the two of us and bring my frames in. Okay? So a really simple position and you can work it both ways. So I'm here with Dan and he starts cranking on my arm. Uh oh, big mistake. Okay? So look, last case scenario, obviously being here, I shouldn't be here. I'm going to turn my hips to create the pressure, and now I'm going to grab right around the back if I can. If worse comes to worse, I can double up both arms just for a sec. But crank on it down as hard as you can. Try and get my hand out. Oh, pretty hard. You can use two hands. Nice. To push it, pull it. Very difficult, okay? As long as I keep the pressure on my hand, it's going to be okay. Now, this hand can come to here and take my head out. One option. But I always like coming to here, giving myself the jaws of life. I hip escape to open up. And now we start going to work. Now, he can still crank in my arm, but it's very difficult. And I can choose which direction I turn. The only thing I have to be worried about is if he grabs around the back of my neck and starts looking for that bow and arrow choke. That's not good. Coming back. So as soon as I open this leg up here, I'm going to start making space. I'm going to let go and get my knee between. So I let go, I hip escape. He's going to try to get on top, bring this knee between us. And now we can start fighting. Big mistake to just lay here. I really want to be established in position, getting back into posture. But you understand that the first thing is to get out of there. Cool guys? So it's a really simple escape. It doesn't look like it works, but it really works. It's really hard to get that arm out. Play with it. Write me some emails. Let me know how it goes.